getting the opportunity to know him uh, was one of the greatest joys that I've had in life. Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto is just one of the many people remembering Bruno San Martino today. The Hall of Fame wrestler passed away today at the age of 82. He left a lasting impression on people in Pittsburgh and around the world. Paul Martino joins us in the studio with a look back at his life and his legacy new at six. Paul. We're all going to miss him, Susan. The Bruno San Martino being remembered as an amazing man who escaped the Nazis in Italy. Set, settled here in Pittsburgh, became the world wrestling champion. Through it all, he maintained a humbleness and a love for the people of this city. And of course, they loved him too. As Pirate fans arrived for an afternoon game Wednesday, they were just learning the news that Bruno San Martino had died. He was a great man, not only a great wrestler, but a great man and a great ambassador for Pittsburgh. He was a wonderful man. He was good for the city of Pittsburgh. He made wrestling what it is right now. He fell in love with Pittsburgh, and I think Pittsburgh loved him back. Radio personality Larry Richard had a close bond with Sam Martino. In recent years, they considered Larry his handler. And he made sure that he never forgot uh, the fans in particular because without them, he would have never risen to this uh, heroic wrestling champion, the living legend. Richard was so moved by Sam Martino's life that he produced a documentary on the wrestler to the village in the Abruzzi section of Italy where Bruno and his family escaped from the Nazis. To so many people around the world, he uplifted them at a time when Italian Americans as immigrants were really picked on and looked down upon. That's when his rise as a champion, and he always remembered where he came from. Coming to America was an enormous opportunity for the champ, but it wasn't always easy to be an Italian immigrant. I experienced bullying because I couldn't speak the language and kids used to, you know, kids can be. But no one bullied Bruno when he grew up. He became the strongest man in the world and champion of the world. All the while, he remained a Pittsburgh guy, a guy they won't forget soon. I thought, you know, I'm very grateful, I'm very thankful, walk away. And I thought, you know, a couple of years, who would even remember who you are? No, we remember. Bruno San Martino joins a growing list of Pittsburgh icons we've lost in recent years, among them names like Elsie Hillman, Dan Rooney, and now it's Bruno. They're all part of our rich heritage. I'm Paul Martino.